The latest report from the International Maritime Bureau shows the negative effects of the COVID-19 on maritime security. There tend to be significant upswings of piracy during times of economic downturn, and the economic devastation wrought by the COVID-19 pandemic is largely to blame for the resurgence of this global menace. ICC International Maritime Bureau figures show a rise in piracy and armed robbery on the world seas in the first nine months of 2020, with a 40% increase in the number of kidnappings reported in the Gulf of Guinea, compared with the same period in 2019. Pirates armed with guns and knives are abducting bigger groups of seafarers at further distances off the West African coast. In the first nine months of 2020, Seafarers reported 134 cases of assault, injury and threats, including 85 crew members being kidnapped and 31 held hostage on board their ships. A total of 112 vessels were boarded and 6 were fired upon, while 12 reported attempted attacks. Two fishing vessels were hijacked, both in the Gulf of Guinea. With approximately 95% of global kidnappings reported from within Gulf of Guinea waters, IMB warns that pirate gangs in the area are well organized and targeting all vessel types over a wide range. The furthest attack from shore also involved the most crew kidnapped from a single vessel in 2020. On the 17th of July 2020, eight pirates armed with machine guns boarded a product tanker and away around 196 nautical miles southwest of Bay Elsa, Nigeria. They held all 19 crew members hostage, stole ship's documents and valuable items, and escaped with 13 kidnapped crew. The tanker was left drifting with limited and unqualified navigational and engine crew on board. A nearby merchant vessel later helped the tanker to sail to a safe port. A more recent example was on 8 September 2020, when armed pirates attacked a refrigerated cargo ship underway around 33 nanometers south-southwest of Lagos, Nigeria. Two crew members were kidnapped, but the rest of the crew managed to retreat into the citadel. A Nigerian naval team was dispatched, who boarded, conducted a search, and then escorted the ship to a safe anchorage for investigations. The Piracy Center recorded 15 attacks to ships underway in the Singapore Straits. While most are considered low-level crimes, two crew were threatened, one injured and another taken hostage, indicating a continued risk to the crew. Knives were reported in at least 10 of the incidents. There has been a sharp quarterly decrease in the number of incidents within the Indonesian archipelagic, with four reported in Q3, down from 14 in Q2. These are viewed as low-level opportunistic thefts with most reported on anchored vessels. All vessel types in the Caribbean, Central and South America, including Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Haiti, Mexico and Peru are being targeted at anchor as well as underway, and during river passages under pilotage. On 26 September 2020, a container vessel was boarded by armed perpetrators during its river passage at Guayaquil. The attackers fired their weapons towards the accommodation and bridge, then opened the containers and stole the contents before leaving. No incidents of piracy have been reported around Somalia since 2018. In August 2020, pirates freed the last three of the thousands of hostages who have been held captive in the region over the years since ship hijackings peaked in 2011. Despite this, the Somali pirates are still capable of carrying out further attacks, IMB urges vessels to continue implementing the industry's best management practices BMP5, and encourages the continued, stabilizing presence of navies in the region.